Did you hear that, Fang? I wish I knew what was causing this. I know what's causing it. It's the creature from the bathroom drain. What kind of creature, Mona? A huge, mutant, amphibious frog-like dripping monster that lives in the pipes under my house. If it's so huge, how'd it get down your drain? It wasn't always big. When I was little, I caught a tiny pollywog like this one. I called it Polly. Every night, I took Polly in the bathroom for a little exercise. Here you go, Polly. Go for your swim. Then I'll dry you off. Mona, come on. It's bedtime. Okay. One night, I forgot to take Polly out of the tub. Good night, Mona. Night, Mom. Then my mom made an awful mistake. Hmm. Mona forgot to drain the tub. No! Oh, how horrible. So you think Polly grew into a frog like that one? No, bigger, weirder, part frog, part... I don't know what. And now it's trying to get back in your house? But it can't fit through the drain. Over the years, Polly had a lot of leftovers that my mom washed down the disposal. Ew! How can you live in a house with a... a creature in it? Not in my house, under it. Yeah, but sooner or later, it'll be strong enough to break out of those pipes. Then what? This is how much it's going to cost to fix the problem? Ooh. I say we sell the house. Well, let me know what you decide. Goodbye, folks. We can't afford new plumbing, but we won't get much for the house if we sell it as a fixer-upper. Either way, we take a bath. No! No one take a bath! The creature from the oh, drain is... Honey, we didn't know you were listening. Mona, I know how much this house means to you. But in time, you'll love our new house just as much. New house? We're moving? As soon as we can find a buyer for this one. But we can't move. I spent the best years of my life in this house. And a vampire can't leave her native soil. We don't have any choice, Mona. It's a serious pipe problem. Dad, I know all about that. In fact, it's kind of my fault. Honey, you can't blame yourself. Please, just give me one night to find the creature. Promise me, you won't sell our house until tomorrow. Okay, we'll talk more about this tomorrow. Fang, you're just in time. You're gonna help me catch a creature. I'll need you for protection. And remember, whatever you do, don't take a bath tonight. Hello? Are you absolutely sure you need me, Mona? Lily, you're Princess Giant. You must know all about moats and tunnels and drains and stuff. Cool, I'll see you then. Hello? Charlie? Mona, I need your help as that man. And bring your shrink around a ray gun. Mona, what if we slip down the pipe and can't get back up? If you don't want to come with me, I understand. But if I don't get rid of this creature, I have to move. So, so are you coming? coming? I knew Princess Jaya wasn't scared of going down a pipe. Well, let's just say I'm more scared of losing you. Ready to miniaturize? Proceed, Charlie. <laughs> Yeah! 
I didn't know it was so creepy inside our drain pipe. If I were a creature, I'd want out. Uh, which way do we go? It's coming from over there. Did, did anyone else hear something down that other end? No. Nice try, Lily. Could be around the next corner. Charlie, will you? Uh, Mona, that wasn't me. Look! Eek! We meet again, creature from the bathroom drain. Or should I say, Polly? Polly? No one's called me that since I was a tadpole. Who are you? Mona the Vampire! No, not my owner, Mona! My, how you've... shrunk! You sure grew. How did you get so big? Well, I have you to thank for that. Every time you didn't finish your carrots or peas or meatloaf... <laughs> It was chow time for me! That's it! That's why you mutated into this human-frog combination. You ate nothing but human food. Well, whose fault is that? Would it have killed you people to serve flies once in a while? Double ew! Why don't we use my shrink around a ray gun to make Polly small again? That's no good. Even when I was tiny, the way out of here was blocked. That's why I've been trying to climb up through the drain. Well, you have to stop that. Otherwise, I'm going to lose the only home I've ever known. What about me? <laughs> now I'll never see this swamp again. <laughs> I never thought of it like that. Don't worry, Polly. I'll get you back to your swamp. I promise. Now, show us where the pipe is blocked. Okay, but I warn you, it's not a pretty sight. Okay, Mona, I trust you. Good. Stay back out of the way. But how do we get back out? <sighs> okay, ma'am. I'll try once more. Let's run the water, see if that blockage is still there. It's the plumber! Hold your breath! He's gonna float us out! <gasps> Sorry, folks. There's nothing else I can do. Would you mind giving my card to whoever buys your house? Mom! Dad! I know it's blocking the pipe! It's my old washcloth I lost when I was little! It went down the bathroom drain! Is that possible? I guess it could have wedged where the clay pipe joins the main line. Would you check, please? Okay, let's take a look. That's it! I feel something! What 
Well, what do you know? You were right, kid. You just saved your folks a pile of money. And from having to move. You won't be hearing that noise again. Funny. That didn't sound like it came from our pipes. It sounded more like it came from outside. Sounded like someone saying goodbye to me. One serving of sea monster whiskers? A sea dragon slime garnish? And top it off with some zombie mold sprinkles. Werewolf would have had the good sense to wipe his feet before coming in. Whoops. Sorry. I found this old werewolf mask while cleaning out the garage. Boy, this brings back memories. That werewolf gag never gets old. Lights out, Mona. Hey, Dad. What do you think it feels like to be a werewolf? Well, I imagine it can be quite uncomfortable. Each full moon, hairs start to grow on the palms of your hands, then on your face. You grow fangs, and suddenly you can't stand silver, and all the other animals hate you. And you prowl the streets and woods. And you can only find peace in destroying things. Whoa. Now, off you go. Bedtime. Good night. Sleep well, Mona. you remember to comb your face? And brush your fangs? <gasps> Looks like there's a werewolf in town. Something weird's going on. Something dug up our flower bed last night. Hey, mine too. And they also chewed up our morning newspaper. Maybe some wild animal escaped from a circus or something. Werewolf culprits. It came to school last night. Strange animal hairs. Werewolf hairs, more like it. Leading up to Principal Shobley's office. Principal Shobley's office? Luckily, I brought along my silver locket. Principal Shobley, I, I was wondering... I caught you. Werewolves can't stand silver, can they, Principal Werewolf Shobley? <laughs> Mona! What 
are you doing in here? You don't have to pretend with me. I know you're a werewolf. I can help you. I don't know what you're talking about, Mona. Now off you go. He's a werewolf, but he doesn't remember when he turns back to human form. He seems nervous, confused, so we know something's up. But don't werewolves only appear during the full moon? Well, that just goes to show you how seriously confused poor Principal Shabley is. He can't even uphold simple werewolf tradition. Ah! What's that? It sounded like it came from the basement. Listen, it's coming from the boiler room. Kids, uh, you're not allowed down here, especially not today. What's so special about today? Uh, today is read a book or two day. Have you read a book or two today? No. Well then, uh, off you go. What's that noise, sir? What noise? R run along now. Okay, so how do we defeat the werewolf? Only one thing will do it. Silver bullets. As much of a pain as he is, we can't shoot Principal Shobley. Oh, but he's a werewolf! Look, the last thing we need is for the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals to be on our case. Hmm. Doesn't the Zap Blaster have a silver bullet ray setting? Now that you mention it... Terrific! That's all we need! Meet me outside Shobley's house at Moonrise. Going out, dear? Yeah, going hunting. Okay, don't be late now. And be careful. Dad's heard there's some kind of animal loose around town. <sighs> Little does she know. <laughs> Silly cat, you'll give us away! Look at the state of his front yard! Look at the window! He's attacking someone! Miss Gallo! If there's anything else I can do... Well, thank you, Madeline. But I think one more night in the woods should see the worst of it over. He can't control it. He keeps changing. He needs night alone in the woods. Yeah, to get over being a werewolf. Let's get there first and lay a trap for him. Okay, we need some bait. Princess Giant, you're the bait. Tired to the tree, Charlie. Why me? We need to bait the trap for the werewolf or he won't find us. Princesses are always tied to trees. That's for dragons. And werewolves, trust me. That's sexist. Hmm. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Good idea. This is the 21st century, after all. Charlie, you're quite safe. <laughs> oh, Mr. Werewolf, look what we've got for you. <laughs> no, no, help! Zap Blaster, now! It's not working! Bar. Perfect! 
Perfect! The silver wrapper should do the trick. Turn Principal Shobly into a... a dog? Flopsy! Oh, at last, there you are! Flopsy? What are you kids doing here? We were battling you in your werewolf form, Principal Shobly. Obviously, the emotional shock of what happened to you has wiped your memory clean. Of course, Mona, whatever you say. Come on, let's go home, Flopsy. Coming, kids. I was keeping Flopsy a secret because I wanted to give him to my wife as a birthday present. I couldn't well hide it at home, so I kept him in the basement at school. That explains why you were acting so nervous. And why those paw prints and fur were in the school. <laughs> yes, that pretty much explains it all. Well, all except for the fact that you really were a werewolf, but you're not anymore. Thanks to our quick thinking and the good people at Choco's Chocolate Heaven. Uh, yes. Whatever. 